Hey guys, welcome back to Life with Zara. <laughs> okay guys, I'm whispering because my husband's in the other room. Sorry that it just blew out. My husband's in the other room and today we'll be doing, tonight, um, we'll be tasting some different Indian snacks that my mother-in-law sent us. And I thought, why don't I do a video about it? But, to make things a bit more... <laughs> fun I decided to dress up for the occasion so my husband doesn't know about that so I can't wait to see his reaction before we start don't forget to comment like and subscribe hit the subscribe button hit the bell button so that you yes you can be notified every time we post a new video as we are also doing a cooking series and so What do you think? <laughs> Thank you. Show my baby just made the kids to sleep and then he fell asleep as well. So I and this is the dress, you guys. It's so beautiful. Love the beads on there. Love it. Such a gorgeous dress. Mary Shauna, Shauna, Shauna. <laughs> okay, must have started already, but he said he's not joining. Okay, so this is something that I've never tasted before, and I'm so excited. It says on here dry fruit, crispy, crunchy, savory balls stuffed with spices. Yeah, mm, vegetarian 100% vegetarian. Okay, here we go. Bismillah. It's rich. If you want to talk, you can have sit and drive next to me. It's rich. Mm -hmm. I'm saying it will make you feel like two or Yeah. Or make you feel because it's dry food. Definitely. If you are a spicy person, like spicy on another level. I love spicy food. But not like savouries. It's really filling. There's like a lot of stuff in here and it's really spicy. It really is. It's falling down right now. Yummy. My husband's gonna finish that. I'm just gonna wash it down with some water. The next snack that I'm going to try. I'm just gonna, What do you want me to try? Makania. 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 This is makania. This to me looks like a butter biscuit. Is it a butter biscuit, Abby? Okay, so this is a butter biscuit with a jira effect. <laughs> oh my word, guys. Let me tell you something that um, I experienced in India when I went. Something that I never knew existed. Jira Coke. Is it called Jira Coke Masala? Cola. Cola. Oh my word. And they love it over there. So I'm gonna have this right now. Bismillah. Love it. This is a yes from you. Love it. For some reason, it looks so huge when you take it out. And when you take a bite, it's pretty empty. Literally something that you'll eat when you're not too hungry. And or you want to have something with your tea. Fab bourbon biscuit. <laughs> the fab bourbon biscuit. Vale. Pale. But that's the main brand. It's like cabri. 
father is like 60 year old friend This is what it looks like. Is this sugar or salt? Sugar. Okay. Yum. It's now. I grew up eating that stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is nice. Mm-hmm. This is really nice. Will really satisfy your sweet tooth. It has a tiny bit of dark chocolate effect, like two percent of a dark chocolate I taste over there. Mm. This is coming next, and this is. Hello, Bujia. You let me try. Hello. Bujia, but I alu bujia, mm. alu bujia. When I mention any history behind this, do you eat it in your childhood? You know, something every Indian household will have. It's a part of many Indians' childhood. My Is it favorite. something very bush? My favorite. My husband's favorite. So I'm honored to taste this. Clearly, it's his favorite. Mm. <laughs> okay, to us Capetonians, we will take this as slanger cheese. But I promise you, it's not slanger cheese. Just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. This tastes like more. This tastes like more. Like you won't know when to stop. You will eat, eat, eat. Mm. Definitely, like they say, spicy mint flavor. It's so nice. Okay, I'm gonna try and stop now. Sorry, you guys can hear me too. The camera is really close. Happy, what's next? What's next? Can you have tuna? Can you please allow me to try and pronounce this up? So, next is Chevra. I was like. I was gonna do this with my friend, but I'm going to do a part two with her. And I was like, we need lime with this because I know with some snacks they need extra things to make it like on point. And then my husband said, no, the reason why the lime is here is because it's lime flavor. <gasps> oh my gosh. My husband says this is chevra. So the slang is bujru. Busu. Busu. Yeah. So the slang word for this is busu. Oh my gosh, look at this. Yummy, yummy, and what's up? Spicy and sweet, but you really taste the sweetness and you really taste the spiciness, and they don't go for me. What do you call this? Read? He wants me to read this. Everything is written in Hindi. Am I correct? Gujarati. In Gujarati? Okay. Everything is written in Gujarati. My husband now wants me to read it because I'm like in trying to pronounce it. It says new gen for some. New gen for some. This shop. Yeah. I actually grew up eating from this shop. Oh okay. 
since my childhood they used to sell those sweets and all that we used to buy stuff really cheap don't break like that my break the indian way yeah let's say oh guys this is how indians open up a plastic eye uh, like a chip bag like we like do this as south africans i don't know about the other part of the kind of the world and then yeah. <laughs> okay let's just at least it's a bit safe Okay. I'm throw it in a container now. Yeah. Otherwise, it's gonna go soft. Yeah. Okay, so this is what it looks like from the inside. <laughs> None of this stuff has spices. Mmm. <laughs> this reminds me of cereal. It is cones. This is what it looks like. It is cones. It's It'll made of cones. Put it in a bowl. That is what it looks like. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And we have reached the end of this little um, tasting Indian snacks. Part 2 will be coming. And our cooking series is still on. Part 3, Part 4, Part 5 is still coming. If you do not want to miss out, do subscribe. Subscribe right now and click the bell next to the subscription box so that you can be notified each and every time I post a new video. Um, this is amazing and delicious. And there are shops around Cape Town, Indian shops. With my next one, I'm going to try and bring you guys along so you can see. This was sent by my mother. Hello, shukran so much and um but i'm sure that you can find other delicious indian snacks so that you can just get the feel of india and um, i also want to ask i should have asked at the beginning of the video that you do keep your um keep india in your freeze right now as they are experiencing the second wave of the coronavirus so each and every play will help i mean like the what would life be without Indians? What would life be without Indians? Nothing. Exactly. So we, they do so much for us. There's so many things that they do that we can't live without with. Some of us know what, they, what it is and some of us don't. But anyway, guys, thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed.